Hello, future fictioners. It's Ikello Herod here. Now, I want to have you imagine something. Canva, Pseudorite, Midjourney, Photoshop, and of course, our friend ChatGPT are at a mixer. Suddenly, they form a mega alliance. What results is not just a creative process, but a bona fide future fiction factory. You may ask, why? Why Future Fiction Factory? Well, we've left behind the old fashioned quill and parchment. Instead, we're taking full advantage of the latest technology, AI, and your limitless imagination to bring your ideas to life at the speed of thought. This isn't a private members club exclusive to authors either. We are flinging open the doors to everybody. Are you a game designer? a comic book writer, or uh, an up and coming filmmaker, or perhaps you're an investor who's ready to take on the tech world. Whatever your creativity, wherever it lies, this factory has the toolkit for you. Struggling without uh, artists, don't fret. With these digital wizards by your side, you'll be crafting artwork worthy of a gallery opening. Have a movie idea, but no Hollywood sized budget? No problem. This super team of digital tools can turn your raw storyboards into polished pitches. As for me, I'm living proof. I've put Canva to work on countless projects from designing YouTube thumbnails that pop to crafting book covers that could stop traffic. I've created all kinds of things. Other people have created ads, marketing ads with Canva that could convince a cat to buy dog food. When Canva and Midjourney and Pseudorite and Photoshop and ChatGPT team up, they become your personal Justice League, helping you transform your fiction factory into a hub of creation that churns out everything from engaging narratives to stunning visuals. So get comfortable, future fictioners, because we are about to embark on an exciting voyage through the world of digital creativity. Fashion your seatbelts. We're going to be going on a wild ride. So this is the first video in a series that we're going to be going through our fiction factory. And the first thing we're going to do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to play around with Canva. So this is Canva. It is a website. If you have an iPad, it's a program on an iPad, but Canva is really the very first step towards an exciting future of being able to take everything that you have and combine it into things that are more than the sum of their parts. If you have a book, you can take the book that you've written and you can add visuals to it or ads to it or anything you want. Let's take a quick peek at some of the stuff that I've already done. As you can see right here, this is a, a pretty extensive, this is all the stuff from the Future Fiction Factory. And then I've also got some stuff that I have, like Crystalis over here, this is a book that I wrote a long time ago and there are bunches of versions of it. One of the great things about Canva is the ability to iterate, to continually, continually iterate. Canva is pretty easy. Up in the upper right hand corner here, it says create a design. And the, you click on this right here and it gives you a drop down menu of all kinds of templates that you can bop into. And they're pretty like comprehensive. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was pretty surprised at how many varied different templates there are. There are so many templates that you could literally spend all of your life just copying these templates. It's not what I would recommend you do. I say put your own spice on that template and then and add your own information in this way, it can become yours. And they have tons of them. 
for public consumption for, so that everybody who pays for the service can use any of these templates. All right, let me show you a few of them. Um, book covers, right? I created some book covers a while ago. There we go. This, as you can see, is uh, Miss Seven of Nine. That's right, Jerry Ryan. I was thinking to myself, while I was watching this absolutely wonderful, wonderful version of uh, Patrick Stewart's show, Picard, the last season, I was thinking to myself, boy, it would be really cool if, since she is, you know, a commander, that maybe, just maybe, she is going to end up being the captain of the Enterprise because there is no way that Shaw is going to make it through this entire season. And so the whole time I kept thinking about that, I was like, man, it would be nice to write some books, some transitionary books, so that maybe at the end of this, we can see what she did between that and becoming a captain. But they took care of that, didn't they? <laughs> they sure did. They sure did. Anyway, uh, no spoilers, none whatsoever, but... Go watch the last season of Picard. It's glorious. Okay, so now that we're back here, we are looking at how I did this. As you can see, I took a bunch of different elements and I created this particular cover. How did I do that? Well, I had Mid Journey generate a picture. Let's just show you some of my uploads. And I had this definitive way of thinking about making those book covers. As you can see over here, there's a bunch of actual pictures that I generated in Mid Journey. And I even have the background that's back there generated in Mid Journey, right there. And then I have a couple of these pictures and I made sure that the lighting, no matter what happened, I could turn the lighting around so that uh, so that the shadow's on the right side of the face. And so therefore I did that right there, up there in that picture. And these are all just copied and pasted out of Mid Journey. I took the subjects and made them specific so that I could drop them into whatever I want. Let's see, there we go. And now, so she's a separate element, she's a separate element. These two are obviously just text elements. And I tried to find something that was very Star Trek-y. And obviously the background is an element on its own. And then here's Future Fiction Factory LLC. And I even did a second cover. The first one was Star Trek Found Eternity. And the second one was Star Trek New Command. And New Command, it, it, these are just literally ideas that I had. Just ideas. And then there's this one. And I was thinking to myself, man, it would be really nice to maybe write these books one day. But that's not why we're here. We're here to show you how I did this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to add a page. And then we're going to, as you can see on this right, uh, this left hand sidebar, there are things that I've used already, book covers, styles, and stuff like that. Now, if I wanted to, I could go through all of these different templates and find something interesting that could be compelling. If I wanted to, I could almost do this, and I bet she is her own separate entity. Yep, she is, she is, and I bet she's opaque and translucent and kind of faded into this. Yes, very cool. Now, if I wanted to, I could get rid of her. There's a little, as you can see right here, there's a little trash can on each picture. Each element has a little trash can. You just click off of the trash can. Now you say to yourself, how did I even get into this in the first place? Well, let's go back to the main page. And as you can see up here, I'm gonna type in book, book. And I'm going to hit enter. And we're gonna see what it gives me. It gives me a bunch of things like this, right? I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the one that we were looking at before, soul. And then customize this template. Now, if you hit customize template, it's easy. You automatically go into here and it starts with the template as the basis. And uh, right here, I'm gonna hit the trash can, get rid of it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get rid of this 
to everything, like I said before, is its own element. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to here to upload. We are going to upload a picture of her. She is the, she is actually a cosplayer and she is cosplaying as Banshee. And then we're going to take this and then we're going to make it a wee bit, a wee bit transparent so that it fades into the background. And then we are going to edit the image to give it a wee bit more weirdness about. We will go, uh, let's go with uh, Duotone or maybe even, ooh, maybe even that. Or how about that? Nope, that, nope. None of these seem to be, maybe that. Ah, I like that, black and white. There it is. That's working for me. All right, and we are good to go. And there you have it. All I have to do is change the name here and we'll call this Canary. We'll just call it Canary. Canary because this particular cosplayer is cosplaying as the, as the uh, Black Canary. And there we go. And that right there is a very quick, easy tutorial on how to make your own book cover. Just the first part of our Future Fiction Factory. Very easy way to do that. We'll move this up a little bit, and there we go. Or even down here. Let's move it, nope, 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 we'll keep it up there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that for that? Hopefully, my dog has been barking like I don't know what. Hopefully all of the tools to isolate my voice really work in this particular episode because my goodness, she's been riley, uh, wild and, and riled up. Anyway, my name is Ikello Herod. This has been the Future Fiction Factory, and I hope that you've learned how to use a little bit of Canva today. I will talk to you very soon, and I will see you in the next video.